from the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University. Honored by the Oklahoma Broadcast Education Association two years in a row for the best collegiate newscast in Oklahoma. This is 7 News. I'm your host, Travis Hamilton. Today, we will review the basketball career and biography of former Inglewood, California High and Northwestern guard, Renee Sullivan. Renee, thanks for being with us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Now, Renee, a song from basketball is very familiar. Tell us a little bit about life growing up in Los Angeles, California. What are some facts about Los Angeles that people may not know? I think there's a people may not know. Los Angeles, not all parties and Hollywood and DC, that's what everybody thinks. Um, being from there, growing up in that environment, it's a, it's a highly populated city and a lot of violence, drugs, and you know, drugs, and drugs, and drugs. And a lot of things that seem to change is part of why I don't want to touch on it. I've seen things like uh, the kind of things that you can see uh, uh, type on the corner and look at for, you know, that one reason why I've never been drugged again. Uh, you see, kind of like you know, somebody, a picture of somebody who's been shot, you know, it's kind of like that turns away from the game life. And I wanted to make a better life for myself. And, you know, I love Los Angeles. I love this in California. I love where I'm from. But uh, it's amazing that it doesn't hurt me. Hey, during your youth days in Los Angeles, when did basketball first become an incentive for you as an individual? Why was it incremental to develop that incentive? Um, the first time I started playing was on age six or seven. Like, when I was young, I was kind of I was the only girl out there in the court playing with all the boys. I wrestled with my brother. Um, I, I was just a, you know, an overall time where I like to be athletic. I just like to think about TV and things like that. So, um, basketball was one thing that I really enjoyed doing. And, like, you know, it's just something I was enjoying. I, I developed a passion for it because. I knew that when I was younger, I told my mom, I was like, I want to go to UCLA. And like, you know, realistically, you can't go to the school that you want to go to. But I, like, the main thing is that I knew I wanted to go to college. I knew I wanted to uh, make a way for myself. And I knew that's what I wanted to have to do. So that's what made me feel like I was going to develop a lot of things. Great, great. Before we take a break, Renee, what's the situation in basketball life that may have been meant to be as an adolescent? The most meaningful moment for me is when I was around six and my father just took me to the park to play basketball and this is before he passed away, he passed away when I was seven. And so that's a moment that really uh, stuck in my head all throughout my life because that was a little moment where I really developed a passion for it. You know, when he did pass, like basketball was always something I was able to turn to. And uh, nobody else in my family played sports, my mom. He wasn't an athlete, my sister, my older sisters weren't athletes in any sport. I mean, pretty much my younger brother, once he got older, three years younger than me. So once he got older, he, was, he developed a high school as well. So once I was like, I wanted to play with at that point, I had nobody else to teach me, nobody to play with. And so that moment was really significant for me. So I can't wait to see that life. Thank you. After the break, we'll have more with Ms. Renee Galladay on her lifelong journey as a basketball player. Don't go anywhere. Seven moves will be right back. 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 Stand by camera two. You'll know when it's seven news. Seven news. It is. Seven news getting started. That's exclusive. Nobody else is talking. Tonight a seven news alert. We are getting word. Hey, can I get a live shot here? We spoke with the victim, we spoke with police. We've got a crew working the story live. Seven Sky Force on the scene. A bulletin just released. More details in the story of you. You know when it's seven news. I 
was really significant like that. I really pushed me to want to become better and better for the how was life as a teenager in that time? I had a good time. My family was great. My mom did the best she could raise me. She was very interested. And she provided a life I was happy with. And she made me proud. And she made me around quite a bit. And so I went to different schools. And I had a lot of fun. 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 That's when I really started finding myself and then I became a family because I really knew who I was as a person. And so, like, who are you? And so, but my life was great. I enjoyed, you know, trying to get out of my family and being sort of, you know, making sure that you're just a kid. You started to start to build a career that you didn't have to. Describe your experience when you started to think that you didn't have to think. First of all, I didn't go all four years of school grade. When I first got there, nobody knew who I was. I went, so I moved from Little Valley, like I said, to the Los Angeles area, and I went to Rockwell Middle School. And I was in eighth grade, so I didn't know who I was. Nobody knew who I was. So I really had to make a decision. You started your second day career at the end of the high school. Describe your experience with the second day. First of all, I enjoyed my time for all four years there. When I first came there, nobody knew who I was. I was in the middle of that. I went to Rockwell Middle School, eighth grade year, and then I went to the middle school. I was in the middle school. Nobody really knew who I was. I had to go to the academy. When they were in high school, basketball career at Indiana High, your program was a top program in the state of California. They let you know that you were very tall. What were the things that came in place that they had to change to change the company? The main thing is that we came there, Main group, four groups of girls that we came back freshmen. We had the same coach for four years. We all learned to play with each other. Um, I had a, a great point guard. We had a great player on the team that was taking the position to play more role. And we built our chemistry together. And by the time we got to our senior year, we were able to play all together and become and, and do something really special with our time. Um, I think the main thing that really just brought that to the coach was the chemistry. We have to make sure that we do 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 have before that season, we said we set out and we laid out all of our goals. I wanted to come to the year. We wanted to win that league. We were in the Ocean League. We wanted to win that league. We wanted to go to the finals. We wanted to go to the finals. We wanted to go to the league. We wanted to go to the And so, uh, one by one, we were just going to take it one game at a time and accomplish the knockout piece of it. And uh, it was a really special for me to be a part of that. And like I said, I wrote a lot of elbows on the paper. Uh, they actually did a piece on me. And, Highlighted that I was one of the you know, people coming to the team, and that was really something that I treasured because I feel like you know somebody that was my value and how and how I how much effort I put into the team and wanted to be successful. And we all just felt like our team, our dedicated, every day at practice, work hard, coming to the games with the right mentality, and just uh, going for it. And, and that's what we were able to do with such a thing. Thank you. I've been looking for some of your high school career and Indian. Yeah, that was a good thing about the community. And you started to find that you didn't know the university was such a thing. And you took a few years to do it. What role did you play in two days to do that? A lot of it was uh, my coach, you know, my high school coach, you know, he used to give me little bits of help to do some of the things that he did and stuff. And I was thinking of coming back home. And so um, I think 
that point in my life, I wanted to be something where I always was going to try to be I want to be on my own. I want to be on a good experience is just really just, you know, the way from home, I know it's not going to be a good thing. I would use the kind of idea to make sure that I And so, you know, I chose the way to go. And, you know, my main thing is um, I was able to get a full scholarship, you know, that's something that you just don't come down from. But I think to play, you know, to get my education for my When we come back, we'll wrap up the rest of the main Southern basketball team. Southern main will be right back. Stand by camera two. You know when it's seven news. Seven news. Don't get it. Seven news getting started. That's exclusive. Nobody else is talking. Tonight a seven news alert. We are getting word. Hey, can I get a live shot here? We spoke with the victim, we spoke with police. We've got a crew working the story live. So the sky force on the scene, a bulletin just released. More details in the story of now. You know when it's 7 News. The news station. Welcome back. Hey, man. Tell me the fact that you're going to listen to the story. It's time for this. I'm going to go to the second time I'm going to go. I mean, first of all, I, I enjoyed Texas Time Magazine. It was a good chance to do a small challenge like this. And I was able to do it out there. And I think it's a great opportunity. And it was just a, a situation where I wanted to, I knew what I wanted and I wanted to. And I felt like I worked, you know, extremely hard and performed each time I did get into a good experience. I gave 100%. I would either do something positive for you than maybe just something fair or something. But, um, I wanted to, you know, go somewhere and do somewhere where I would, you know, be able to get something and be part of something. And I felt like it was a good part of it. And it was a kind of strange situation because only three people ended up returning and then another player took one of the people. So it was a whole new coach and, you know, with any different position the coach wants to be in. He's a he's a great person. I felt like you know he you know, he really played a part in helping get that promotion. So I was thankful for that. Again. Last season was the last season season at my position. I love what that team played in the first two years. How big is it right now that I got to the season? Oh, it's a great year. It's good. Oh, what did you learn? How how is that? Um, I think. I just always good. I, I'm the type of person that I feel like every day is a blessing. Um, it's crazy because I thought that, you know, once I stop playing basketball, I have all this free time and I'm be able to do a normal student. And, like, it's actually been the complete opposite. I actually have less time on my hands. And the main thing is that, like, I'm, I'm having a person on my team and I'm saying I have to work on more. You know, I'm working towards my degree, so I'm like, in more classes and work and coaching and, you know, just doing the best that I can in my classes and stuff. So, um, it's a little different. It feels like a, a kind of a hole in me because like, it's something I've done my whole life. The experience I've been in now, I still play from time to time, but, um, you know, whenever I want to turn my mind, like I said, it's always something that, you know, that's a blessing that it's So I play a big role in my life, and I'm thankful for every opportunity that I had to um, exist in that position to make that thing happen and do what makes me happy. How would you like to be in the one thing that I want to do going forward is to win. Um, everything that I do, I put my heart into it. And if the game wins on the court or that evening, um, if I can help my heart into something positive, um, I always try to get out of those things. So, you know, I want people to know that there are times that you need a positive moment that are able to make you smile and able to make you laugh and say things like this. So, so I'm a, I'm a good person. And I think that's really what it is. That's it for us on this special edition of Southern News. We would like to thank you for that guy today for stopping with us today. Join us every week for continued news coverage and information. I am Travis Thomas Smith, and we'll see you next time.